Hi folks, I be Sarah Rochelle and welcome back to I be playing Persona 3 FES. Wow, um, how are you, Jupe? Yeah, that's where, that's where I'm at. What do we do, Yukari? Mitsuru? <laughs> well, that's the truth. It's always all go oh, it's always going to end, just not now. No, no. Don't dwell on dread. Mm -hmm. You can still fight it. That's what medicine is for. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, kid, because you're you're ten, you're a child. I yeah. No, it can't be. That's why you change the future. It's still a thing. But I guess it's best if we just rest for all the rhyming that apparently is happening. Yeah. Well, that's what happened last time. Hey, guess what? You're gonna die. I mean, it's the truth, but in this case, it's you're gonna die like in two months. Do you want to forget? Or do you want to remember? You know, maybe if we remember, we'll try and do something about it. There is that. I need a new mic stand. I think that would be better than this one. In theory. I might just need a new pop filter. That might be good. But I think I'd just get a new mic stand. Yeah? Oh. Um. Apathy is something to worry about because we forget how to enjoy things, too. And it's okay to feel sad sometimes. They're normal emotions. No. Oh gosh. It doesn't put people at ease. P being apathetic, it creates a sense... Okay, I do understand that it does create a sense of ease. Not worrying and not having to worry about anything, but like... Gosh, that's not good. It's not. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. That just bugs me a lot. The apathy part of it. Like, I get that. Yeah, there's a sense of ease. If you don't care about anything, what, what is there? But that's not good. It's important to care, even though it hurts a lot sometimes. It still matters. Like, look at Bebe. Like, he cares so much. And it's good. It's good to have passion and to find things in life that you enjoy and want to do and pursue. And yeah, sometimes that causes a lot of pain and sadness and hurt, but it's because it mattered. <laughs> and yeah. It's because it mattered. And it's important for things to matter because, yeah, what's the point otherwise? Why not care? Oh, yeah, it's going to cause me pain and sadness, but at the same time, it could... There's always an infinite possibility, amount of possibilities in each moment. And when we're apathetic towards it, that infinity shrinks. he will like now like we're part way through the school year oh okay you're gonna stand your ground you have so much passion for life and for our culture and 
we a lot of uh, me included like sometimes we, we lose that passion for things and it, it makes life dull and yeah it's easier in a way if we don't care but like it's dull like ah uh, it's just have find a thing find a thing and make your life interesting oh thank you Oh! Of course. Of course! I'm not going anywhere. Of course. I'll be expecting you. I'm not going anywhere. Nobody is. Want a hug, bud? Sometimes people come into our lives for a reason, which is a direct quote from For Good from Wicked. But, you know, sometimes they also pass out of our lives, but it doesn't mean the time that is spent together is unimportant or didn't mean anything. It, it, it's still important, even if it's no longer a thing. If, Bebe may not be in our lives for the next two months, which is sad, but it doesn't mean like we still formed a friendship, a bond that can't be broken, as the game says. Like, that's still important and it still matters and it will always have mattered, even if we never see each other again, which, you know, can suck, but. As Elizabeth said in one of the Tartarus episodes, she had a line, and I should bring it up, where it's like, memories, good mem the past may contain a lot of good memories, but we always must be moving forward. It doesn't mean you have to, like, forget everything that's ever happened in the past and that it wasn't important. It, it's just saying you have to acknowledge that the past existed, and it's a part of you, no matter what. But there's also a future that is also going to be a part of you. You get to choose. You get to choose what future you want. As well as maintain or remember everything that's ever happened. This game is so good. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Hasta la vista. You know, that meetup may never happen, or it may, or it will. We uh, we don't know. But the key thing is, is that we we meant it at this point. But we're not gonna start our lives. We're still gonna live our lives. Yeah? What's up? I don't think so, Junpei. Yeah. Are you okay? Okay, what are we doing tonight? We're going to sleep. Um, I need to check something really quick before I go on with the rest of this episode. So I will be, well, right back once once sleep time happens. Um, but I just realized something that I'm a little bit off on. So, um, I think it's we're going to sleep earlier. I will be right back. And I'm back, and we're apparently listening to all the conversation. Yeah? What happened to him? Well, exactly what I was thinking, listening student. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes things happen suddenly. <laughs> That's just the truth of life. It's an interesting truth. But, we will see. 
Um, there's a couple, there's maybe one social link that won't be finished. Um, it's one I'm kind of okay with not finishing, but it will mess up like 100% things. Th there is a way it might be finished, but I'm not trusting it 100%. It's Saturday. You know where we go on Saturdays? I really should see if there are any quests I should do. Well, since I'm out and about, I'm going to go talk to Elizabeth, Elizabeth and see if there are any quests I need to pick up because, you know, now it's been like two, three days since the full moon and I haven't done that and that would actually be a good thing to do. But for now, we have to get to the mall first. That is a thing. Um, sorry for the slight cut in the middle. It went from sleeping to the beginning of school there's nothing you missed there it's just was the scene change um but i had a typo somewhere for what i was working on and it confused me and i would like to make as few more mistakes as possible as few more as few mistakes as possible and i've already made two so we're on our way again but for now we need to go see if there are quests we need to accept that aren't tartarus related Tartarus? I don't know when that's gonna happen. I have a couple days, like there's a lot of time that I could use for it coming up. Sorry. It's, well, a time of the day that normally I should be asleep, but I probably, hey sir, um, won't sleep like a normal human because my sleep schedule is my choice. Doesn't mean it's good, <laughs> it just means it's my choice. And I get to live with those decisions, just like we all do. I live with my poor decisions. Um, I just want to check the request right now, Elizabeth. Most of these should be done. There's, uh, open... Oh! Oh, you do, Elizabeth. Hmm. Oh, these two are new. 1229. Okay, so we have time. And those look like Tartarus ones, too. But Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Would you really? Of course I would. Oh, you don't want me to take too long to complete it. Um, how about we then... Go out for a bit. Yes, we shall. I mean, shall is a good word that we need to use a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, this is the student dormitory where you spend your days? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we barely spend time here because we're at school and then we're out and about and then we sleep. We sleep here. So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Oh, you haven't? Anyway, regarding my request to visit your room. Yes? Well, did it make you a little suspicious? Um... Curious. How about curious? I see. Actually, I do have something I'd like to talk to you about. Yeah? What's up? You can trust me. During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. That is true. All of them are treasured memories. Each one a polished glittering gem. Oh, good. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine. You should get out more, Elizabeth. The hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. Yeah, why don't you wander outside of the closet room more? When I came to a realization, I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more essential to your life okay and so today i requested to visit the one place in your world that i could learn the most about you that is 
I'm gonna say flattering, maybe? To visit your room. Yes, you did. If I may be so bold. Sure. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? It was fairly recently, so wasn't it? That I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. Yes. I do remember. It was the first time I ever felt that way. Hmm. Why did I feel so fulfilled? Well, I have a few guesses, but I think you need to figure this one out on your own. Okay. See? I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the velvet room wait with great anticipation for guests. We? Who else is there? I thought it was just you and Igor. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. No, you always exist. You, I get. Hmm. Why don't you just go out more? By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I, I think I get it though. I'll put it more plainly. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times I seem to act. Quite strangely. I'm pretty dense sometimes. However, even I am not blind to the significance of calling a You're gentleman. Smart, in Elizabeth. I like you. If you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to guide me through it. Okay. You're already a terrible person anyways. I'm like super shrugging over here. Okay. Listen. I'm already doing the max social link crime. I'm already digging myself the biggest hole imaginable. Eh? That's terrible of me to say. I understand that. But I feel like a completely different person than the Elizabeth okay. who first stepped into your world. I mean, you just maybe know things now that you didn't know before. That is a quote from Into the Woods and it's Little Red Riding Hood song. And I think it's pretty applicable here. But like, you're still Elizabeth, Elizabeth. And no man changes that. What kid? I'm not really sure. Like Elizabeth. Oh boy. Now I have issues with the situation. As usual with some of the certain themes in this game. Like the fact that to max social links with all the women in this game. Like you have to like date them. That's silly. And if that's the case then you should let me date everyone. Including all the men. So thank you very much. Game. Game. I'm judging you on you. No, Elizabeth, that's okay. Would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? I mean, not necessarily a, a little bit, but... I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. Cool. I'm very grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet... Let us part. Goodbye, Elizabeth. I will be seeing you again. Let us part. We headed back to the velvet room with her. That's literally, there's a song in Hello, Dolly, where they're leaving the restaurant. And it goes, um, so 
wave your little hand and say so long, dearie, dearie, should have said so long ago. But the entire gist of the scene is as she's saying goodbye, she's pointing for him to go in the same direction as her. Like, she points in the same direction at the, the, the like, it, that's exactly what just happened here. And now I really want to rewatch Hello Dolly. I, at one point, want Dolly, the, the outfit that Barbara Streisand wears in the opening sequence of Hello Dolly, with that first song, I need to learn that song and I need to have that outfit because it's applicable sometimes. We're going to check our requests because we get a reward for that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Oh, of course. Thank you. No, I'm good. Also, like, why is, like, game, game, you need to get better. First of all, Social links should be maxed without having to date the person. Second of all, if dating the person is an option, I should be, have the option to date everybody. Minus the children. Minus the children. Minus the children. I forgot there are children in this game. Minus the children. I'm going to dig myself up. My, I literally, this title is minus the children of the video. And oh boy, no. Of classmates. Of classmates only. No children. We're, no. No, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna just head on over to the Iwatodai station and do what I was meaning to do this entire time. Mamoru. 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 I never remember your name, sir, and I'm very bad at things. Hi, hi, we'll hang out today. Hello, how are you? Um, yeah. Of course. I'd love to hang out with him. It'd be fun. But yeah, there's some issues I have with the game. First of all. Like. Main character. Being Makoto in this case. Not a great person. And if you look at how the social links, if I didn't do any of the social links, then maybe you're okay person. Or at least hang out with people. I just really don't like that <laughs> forces you to date the women classmates and stuff to max their social links. That's stupid. It really is. <laughs> like, ugh. Even Elizabeth. I like Elizabeth. Uh, where are you at? Um, I'll wait a little bit longer, because usually what happens is when you start looking around for people. Uh, I guess we'll keep waiting. Is he okay? Um, yeah, let's, let's just, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Hey, no problem. No, of course. Don't don't worry about it. No! That dude, family first. Like No. It first uh, also not your fault. Yeah. You always seem to be trying to help her out. I don't think that's trouble. Oh no. Oh, gosh. Don't get me started on health insurance in the US and the, the system. Ugh. Everybody that I talk to that's like a nurse or a medical system is like, I like the people that I work with. I like my patients. I like the doctors I work with. The system is the worst. Like, that's, that's bad. That's, that's not a good thing when that's. <sighs> oh no, you're fine. Of course. 
Of course. You feel free to talk to me anytime. Something tragic happened. Your relationship is like that. <laughs> I mean, that sometimes is how it works, but like that's that's really weird. Like side by side sentences. I hope he's okay, and I hope his mom's okay. Like that's not good at all. Yeah, that's totally fine. Why would he just turn, why didn't he just hang up the phone? Why didn't he just, like, just hang up, not turn off the phone? Like, I've never known anybody to hang into call by turning off the phone. Pe most people just hit the end call button. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Are you scared? Sometimes things are incomprehensible. You did, Mitsuru! But when you're dropped with the load of, hey, guess what? You're going to die, like, in two months. And not... Because people know they're going to die. Eventually. That eventually is such a weird factor of hope. And we're always fighting against it because look at how far we've developed medicine. But, like... To be told directly, I know exactly when you're going to die, that is scary! And it's okay. To... It's okay to be scared of that. I be Sarah Rochelle, I've been playing Persona 3 FES. And thank you for watching, peeps.